the suppression field, the consequence, the benefits, and the evil behind the concept. Because, as we know, suppression field is pretty much given as a, a gift to humanity. It combines gift. That is the propaganda that's being pushed, that we're giving you this incredible, incredible present that you must take, that you must take and uh, accept because it is beautiful. You do not understand it because you are still a, a monkey. You have to leave the monkey in order to understand the value of what we've given you. But now, not that much is known about it. There's very scarce information. Even if you search it on the internet, you will find out about the uh, suppression field that it's a concept which is only being talked about. And a concept that's practically all around us. I will. So now, this is Half Life 2, right, chat? This is the playground of City 17! Do you get that? And this playground is full with leaves, full with lack of life, and a baby doll, which makes a very strange sound. Let's actually put some audio in. Hey! Something's, something's wrong. Let's put this audio on. Yeah, there should be audio now. So now this is the baby. You see, it makes even evil sound. Deep box, baby boom. So now, chat, this is a playground and it has been abandoned. Go away, city scanner. You're making our viewers blind. You are wicked. You are worse than suppression field. Look at yourself. That's right. Run away when I call you out. When we call on your BS, you run away and hit yourself against wall. That's what I thought, stupid. No, 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 no. Okay, chat. I'll, I'll save you from the uh, flash. Okay. Stop flashing me. Chat. I ended him. I stopped his. Stupid existence! Now, as we see, the playground is abandoned. There isn't, there are no more children. It's only the memory. Memory of the past which remains. Memory of something that once was. So now, as I'm, I've shown, I'm showing you this. Suppression fuel is implied in the playground and also further by the Breencast is where it's being mentioned as... A concerned citizen, a concerned citizen writes to Breen as to why they've be, why humanity has been disabled to reproduce, which implies heavily, it doesn't even imply, it just says it, that the whole world potentially is unable to reproduce the human species. And that, in a kind of way, tells us that after the Citadel's destruction, why are humans able to reproduce? Is it an area of effect? Are there more citadels like this citadel that have a suppression field? Is the rest of the world still suppressed and only the district of City 17 free to make exploding babies like this doll? Look at doll. They can make these. And then you can throw it at uh, this. I mean, uh, produce uh, the tall dolls, items, and then you can throw the toy. Oh, you, I'm not talking about throwing you know, the babies. Uh, what do you think it is, is, YouTube? I give you context. Now shut up and go in basket. Oh, <laughs> okay. I think that suppression, suppression fuel after the citadel's destruction is disabled around the district. But if the whole world is smashed under this suppression fuel, and potentially other districts are still under its influence. Okay. Plot twist, Bakia says. It wasn't the Citadel that's the suppression field. It's the drugged water from Breen's private reserve. Hmm. Bankhead does bring an interesting point here that pot potentially could be true. Bruce, Green, welcome, welcome to see City 17. You have chosen or been chosen. You should have brought the anonymous letter, Bruce. I cannot, uh, this isn't on topic. I must uh, throw myself away from it. Kara says, theoretically only cities could be under suppression view, not whole planet, since the rest of the world was made uninhabitable by the Xenophon. Yeah, but then I, I, I bring Carol, I bring you uh, White Forest. 
White Forest is kind of far from uh, the Citadel's grasp, yeah. And yet, are there any children there? See this? This is not the OK sign. A zero black hole, big faucet, giant sewer, incredible long pipe. <laughs> zero, no children. White Forest, far away from the city. Maybe not far, far enough away. And yet, the Citadel explodes. And now, the Citadel is dying. And Dr. Kaino is like, Oh yeah, my children! It is time to bring back the world! We are the chosen ones to bring the children back! So they can work on assembly lines! YouTube, context, this is Half-Life 2. They will push forward our industry to new heights! Oh wait, I shouldn't have said that. I am joking. I am Dr. Icy Kleiner and... Uh, uh, is this still working? Uh, Magnuson, quickly delete! Uh, delete broadcast! Uh, send us! Holy moly, how fast is this chat going? Um, Siri Outing Gaming says, An honest opinion here. Suppression field is both good and bad side. Humanity can go extinct in years. Good side. You don't want children to grow up in this generation. Under dictatorship. Under alien occupation. Like that. I'm actually gonna say why that is a good thing. And at the same time, it's kind of bad as well. Let me just note that. Let me note it. Because we have to... We have to reach it before we... I talk about it, Syria and gaming. You're always reaching the ends of the discussions. <laughs> Leo Pavuk, don't drink the water. They put something in it to stop you from having babies. At least that's good for some people. <laughs> Carol says, in theory, some survivors might be able to reproduce. Granted, they don't. They even get some supplies to survive, which is highly unlikely. Yeah, it's the thing is, you're right that the world outside the cities is very hostile and habitants there is dangerous. And yet, we talked about this during the Father Grigori stream where people are already used to this war. The Seven Hour War, the consequences of the Seven Hour War. Giant percentages of the people went and yet they're gone. Now, people had to fight for their resources. Initially, there was no stable government. They had to grab onto anything. There was potentially crimes happening everywhere around the world as people just scattered for resources. Those who saw this incoming downtrodden existence in the cities fled the cities and tried to create communities. They weren't inherently resistance communities, just like Ravenholm. And Ravenholm was a place where people just lived. Made to, well, of course they found creatures that made it to have children. Uh, I kind of think they already had the concept, but you cannot just throw it into the population. You just do it slowly. First, you do it without them knowing. And then, you put forth reality. It's like you make it happen, people don't know about it, but then people start asking questions, and then you say, we did this for your own good. And what are you going to do about it, right? You're gonna say, I don't like this. Uh, could you please bring back uh, children? I need children. Who's gonna de- In terms of humanity, this is bad. Because you can't exactly make more children. You make more of yourself. But then your attention is removed from all this reproductive nonsense, which in a way is kind of... Chat, I want you to look at it objectively. Just look at what we do every day. So... Remove emotion from the picture. Just become a husk. Become that. It's not, it's not easy. But just look at it. And now think about the reproduction. Try and find a reason why it's not kind of monkeyish. Because if you look at animals, we look at animals and we call them animals for a reason, right? Because they're not as intelligent as us. So what makes us different than animals? Intelligence. Is reproduction intelligence? How can 
how, how can reproduction, mating, and ha having offspring be seen as intelligence? It's what animals do. Intelligence comes in the form of understanding concepts, of creating technology, of ascending humanity up the ladder. That's why um, humans are on top of the chain, the food chain, even if we have weak bodies. I mean, your body's weaker than an animal's body. That's fact. Can you fight a bear? Maybe if you, if you are a Russian, maybe you can fight bear. After two vodkas, you definitely even win, win the fight. The bear is going to get potentially scared. It's like, what is this lunatic? You turn away. But nevertheless, joking aside, we are weaker than most animals, most predators. And yet we're on top of the food chain. And that's not because we follow the monkey way. It's because with intelligence, we made tools. And with those tools, we ascended up the ladder. When have you heard an animal building a house? Like a solid house. When have you heard an animal building a car? Or creating electricity? Or going to space? You will never hear about that. On this planet. What, a dolphin is going to make a... A car and or, or a dolphin is going to make a boat and drive it in the ocean. It don't even need a boat anyways. Nonetheless, what we're saying here is that if we look at the reproductive system of how, you know, mating and making offspring, it's monkey. It's what animals do. It's not something that humanity exactly needs if it can reproduce itself without that. Without the, this uh, biological must. It's like it's. This, it's, a bio, it's biologically ingrained in us that mating has to happen. But if you can use machines to just reproduce yourself with your own DNA, how is that different than having offspring? It's the same. If you clone yourself, your child is in a way a clone of yourself. So if you clone yourself synthetically, you're pretty much, it's the same thing. If you remove the emotion from the equation, you can't look at it any differently. It's the same. It's, it's you. You took from yourself. You put it in an incubator and you make a person. Boom. So in a way, the combine is like we don't need reproduction because it causes emotions. And emotions cause riots. It causes resistance. It also gives hope for you to stay in your monkey ditch. We do not want to put you in monkey ditch, okay, Jack? If you were a female fighter, would you really want to uh, cause yourself such a liability? Because if, you ha if you're pregnant, then, then you have a problem. What if this war continues for a longer period, period of time? You're a rebel fighter. You want to have strength. You want to be capable of going through mountains, of running for kilometers on top of kilometers. And pregnancy will eat away at your strength. And you will become a liability. So I highly doubt that rebel fi female fighters would allow themselves this kind of liability. They would rather keep themselves in the shape they are than become pregnant. And then just in a way be useless to the fight. You can say, but Marcos, then they can have offspring and they can contribute to rebellion. You don't know how long this war is going to take. It might ta it, this war could span for months. But if you know it's going to span for decades, okay. But if you don't know what's going to happen, the combine are invading the. They're invading the the bunker. You don't know what's going to happen. You're not going to cause yourself. What if you have to flee? What do you have to run? What do you have to abandon the bunker? What if you have to go to other bases that are very far away from here? What are you going to cause? You're going to give yourself the opportunity to be a liability during the way to retreat to other places. You're potentially gonna die you would rather not cause that right that's my thinking but yeah yeah i guess you're right to take sure public experiment says it allows for revolution evolution can aid the furthering of intelligence but you can genetically modify yourself to have that intelligence if you can implant something in your head which changes the neural connections you can make your brain then change the structures of your body itself. If you can control the brain, the brain can control the rest of the body. Already Neuralink causes that, has that interface, that opportunity. On paper, of course, practically, they still, I don't think they're having human trials yet. But we are at the, we currently in our real world are at the 
doorstep of this technology. Meanwhile, in Half-Life 2, the Combine already has that technology to change genetics. So you exactly don't really need natural selection to cause evolution. You just need technology. And that's your natural selection. It is the unnatural selection. It is, ah, uh, it is Combine. Combine make you great again. Greatest, the best. Change you, make you invincible. You die, you don't really die. Your brain, we uploaded it to computer. Next body, we put you on that. You're the same again. Welcome, fight for Combine forever. You will fight for us. You will be our eternal sort. You can die as many times as you want. We will always be able to bring you back. Kind of scary and at the same time kind of cool. If you truly trust in the Combine, and the, the Combine goes. Holy moly. Chat, calm down. I can't get to everyone. Um, Kero says. Experiment problem is human bodies have limited time to be alive. When all humans get too old, there will be no humanity left. Yeah, that's the end of humanity, Caro. That is the end of humanity. And yet, if uh, you can have humanity uploaded to a computer, humanity is alive. It's just no longer humanity. It's something better. It's something more. But then you'd say, sure, but what makes us human makes us human. But at the same time, do you really want to remain human or you want to become something more than human? Evolution would tell, would say you have to become something more. If you say that I don't want to become something more than a human, then you are pretty much, you're pretty much not obeying evolution. Because evolution by definition is evolving, becoming something different. Yeah. But then, Marcus, this is not natural evolution. What, what difference does it make? It is evolution. You change it. If you wait for evolution to change things, then you're gonna die. In this way, the combine with technology changes you. You evolve instantly. And you can have eternal life. You're really no longer the same, but you evolved. It's evolution. Not natural, it's a natural evolution, but evolution nonetheless. So we are gaming says the reason why suppression field is a thing is because Combine want every human to be immortal. You no longer have to die from being old or unhealthy. Yeah, exactly. Death is no longer something that is in in the dictionary of humanity. You can't die. You have eternal life. And even if your body dies, your consciousness can be uploaded somewhere else and you still exist. The thing is, this is where identity stops existing because you're no longer you. You're something, you're just, a, you're just information. And for somebody who values their identity incredibly, like they want to be who they are, this is scary. This is terrifying. The resistance losing their identity who they are is pretty much game over for humanity all we see is its consequences i do not exactly understand why it wasn't explored in half-life 2 better you have children so there they were used as workers in half-life 2 you know the real version we just have Okay, there are no children, uh, have fun with that. So the most logical for me would be a magnetic field. The combine are sophisticated enough to have the technology to be able to uh, suppress certain cells in the body, causing the impossibility of pregnancy. It's highly likely. Hey, light and welcome to stream. Just listen a bit and you will figure out. We are uh, talking about suppression field, good or bad. And now we are establishing where the suppression field is originating from and how it is potentially affecting people and why it might be a good thing for humanity and why it might not be. So we're going to take the most likely option of ma ma magnetic, a magnetic field causing pregnancy to be limited or impossible. But then Carol says, okay, what about outside the cities? Maybe pregnancies are possible there. Highly likely. 
then you have the problem oh wait it is hostile people cannot uh, exist in jungles with uh, zian creatures that are very highly dangerous and meanwhile humanity is limited on resources and production of weapons ammunition and defense equipment and construction humanity in a way needs resources so they cannot get too far from the cities if they go too far then they will starve themselves of resources they will be dependent on the main carriages because maybe carriages maybe cars maybe just human mules in a literal sense and not a slang meaning so existence outside the districts of the cities is highly bloody impossible do you understand that it's just unlikely to happen easily you don't have the resources to defend yourself you do not have if you start making an industry for defense you know making your own food making your own weapons the combine will find you and they will take you so it doesn't exactly matter that potentially people can have uh, children outside the districts because outside the districts it's game over they must stay close to the cities so they could steal from the combine and keep surviving for humanity it's survival it is not like right now where you have a government and you can go to a field and plant yourself some potatoes some tomatoes plant yourself some apples and just be like ah I am so uh, happy look at all my produce there is no produce no no no, no. you are stuck you are heavily stuck and the only way to survive is to take sure it's not the right thing it's immoral but you have to take because the combine they've taken everything and now the only way for you to survive is to take from them as they took from you <laughs> Kleiner explained it as certain nutrients were removed that are essential in growing a child yeah but you can potentially squash those nutrients by eliminating them causing the body with ma look magnetic waves are signals when you have a signal it's like a radio emits signals yeah and those waves it's like our brain also emits waves if you can you can examine a brain with and its magnetic uh, properties so having a signal thrown at a person in a way that i do not know in for instance the half life 2 universe you could potentially cause the body to react to those waves in that language and get it to attack those nutrients see them as hostile and potentially just destroy them that is how i can explain this using ma waves magnetic waves as waves are targeted at people targeted at their bodies the brain translates that information and is misled into thinking that the waves are the body's reaction to something bad and this translation then turns the brain into defensive mode killing those nutrients He's, the brain no longer sees them as nutrients and boom it's gone you cannot have pregnancies plain and simple so everybody put on your tinfoil hats go to the darkest basement let's get the torches and let's go to Gary's mod server roleplay <laughs> no, 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 that's not the bad TV writing gaming conclusion suppression fuse is both suppression fuel is both good and bad surely you wouldn't want children to grow up in this alien occupation generation yet bad because it's killing earth population into it's in a way transitioning it to becoming transhuman TV writing gaming yeah it's just a matter of who's looking at it if, hum if humans are looking at the suppression field it's wicked it's evil if the combine is looking at the suppression field they're doing humanity a favor if uh the combine sympathizers look at the suppression field it's good it's the way forward it's the way to build the relationship with the combine and to survive that those are see a hey or g 
Carol Savoda, the art of the deal. So I guess I think I think we can reach this conclusion. But I can't just say, let's reach conclusion. We have to put this to a vote. No? Chat, now is the time. Is suppression field good for humanity? Cast your votes in the chat. Yes or no? And if you want, if you want to clarify, go ahead. Let's, let's get the true answers. Let's get the democracy to speak against or for these concepts that have been roaming around the world of Half-Life. They're roaming around after as the establishment of the Combine, Universal Union, major cities and population areas, after the decimation and seven-hour war. Imagine collaborating with Combine unironically. If you don't have a choice, Carol, it's like rip. It's a matter of what would you choose? Fight against an unstoppable Wars or join it. They have the power to blow up the whole planet. They have the power to decimate entire entire cities, villages, plant uh, mountains. Doesn't matter where you are; they'll catch you. It's a scary place. Backhead says, "Could never be me." Carlos Bola, I also understand that you would say, "Suppression field can never be a good idea." Come on. People, more votes, put them forth. We have G stake that he disagrees with you. City Art and Gaming, uh, I don't think, I think you got, it's like you just put the points, like put, you put both points, but you don't make a decision. Carol Subora says, collaborating with Combine is like collaborating with Gestapo or KGB. That's a neat comparison. I like it. I like that comparison. And yet, if you look back in history, Carol, there were a lot of collaborators with the Gestapo and KGB. Like a lot! A lot. But let's not dwell on the, the past and look at the future. And for a future, such acts of, how do we say it? Just taking away a choice of a species, just taking it away from them and saying, oh, this is my uh, uh, excuse, is not the right thing to do, is it? You have to give them a choice. But in the case of Half-Life, the Combine, they want to take that choice away. They want results instantly. They don't care about feelings they don't care about humans what they want what they need they just want to make things happen and the only thing stopping them in my opinion is dr breen he was pretty much the guy in the middle he was stopping from things he was just stopping things from becoming worse than they were without breen i think that it wouldn't be just a suppression field. They would just grab all the population and try to put them in this combined machine. But as we know, Breen was also a puppet. And even if he was minimizing the damages, he wasn't exactly trying to change things. But at least he tried. He was a prisoner. He was a prisoner. And he didn't really have much of a choice. He didn't see fighting as anything that he'd have a chance of surviving. He wanted to survive. He wanted to keep living. And that kept the coward, that created the, the coward in him. The coward that couldn't act. Mossman could act. Eli could act. Magnuson could act. All of these rebellion, all of these rebels, they could act. But Breen decided to, to not. Because he, um, he liked himself more than he likes humanity. Do you see any modifications on him? Does he have augmentations? Does he have any kind of change 
it. Oh, he's fully human. And he's talking about sending humanity, right? It doesn't exactly work that well. All right, chat. I guess what I, I could say my opinion on it, finally. My opinion. I brought all the sides. We've all experienced tense emotions of like, it is wrong, that is right. And my opinion is that forcing a choice like this is not the right, is not right. You have to give humanity a choice whether they want to ascend or remain what they are and keep living their lives as they are. You cannot just take. You can't. If the union just gave the opportunity to remove the tyranny from the equation, maybe they would have had a way bigger chance of removing conflict and war. If they just allowed humanity to be, then those who wanted to join the Combine would have just done that willingly and without having any kind of pressure behind their backs. They wouldn't have had the knife behind their backs. And they would have just joined. For the rest, they would have just lived their lives had children, and lived their normal lives the way people live their lives. Is it wrong? Yeah. In the situation, is it good? In this current situation where people don't have a choice, and if in this current circumstances that the Combine has created, where if you have children, there's going to be rebellion, in that situation, it's good because then you, you wouldn't have the children suffering through all this conflict and pain you just why would you have your children suffer through this war in the situation where the combine is punishing humanity for anything that goes against them only in that situation i could potentially see it as a good thing because it prevents the unnecessary suffering of the children otherwise nope in any kind of other situation? Nope. Chat. Let's save. Uh, uh, let's save Earth with Half Life 2, Episode 3. Suppression so feud is gone. It's time to grab Combine and throw them in portal back from where they came from. We will take Magnuson's rocket and build ourselves an uh, incredible uh, and sophisticated ship which will shoot down any combined face it is, we will no longer tolerate this downtrodden existence. I will not accept this. We will find freedom. Half-Life 2, Episode 3. Coming soon. RIP. <laughs> Kavika says, Humanity first. Backhead says, Would Combine suppress historical events like the wars before? And use them as propaganda, as a pure example of humanity's instinct, anyone still alive. Uh-huh, definitely, why wouldn't they use that? Of course they would say, oh, look at yourself, look at you monkeys, you've been doing this all your history, you think you're gonna do any better? Shut up and do as we say. That's what they're gonna do. Definitely, 100%. Shuri Ating Amy says that a bad generation can affect your children children's personality yeah <laughs> man if you were a child you were a child in such a world you'd be heavily affected it's like you just you don't even have a childhood rip childhood man game over game over it's a very bad world to be in Like I said, it makes me think about how a small event caused such destruction to Earth and the entire human species. It's an... Anything small can turn into something like colossal. So long as it stops a key process, whether it be regenerating your human cells, rege uh, memory, Aging and all those kind of stuff. The moment you tweak something and you cause irreversible damage, it's gonna be pretty bad. T Day 53 says, by the way, Metro cops are they're a structure of propaganda and it's beautiful. What does this mean? Let me check it. You got me curious, T Day. 
I will go and take it all. Holistic. Holistic means characterized by the treatment of the whole person, taking into account mental and social factors. Yeah, aren't they? You're a metro cop. Look at me. You can be a metro cop. I have all the resources. You ain't got none of them. You can join us. You can join us. But you don't. You're resisting. Why are you resisting? Stop resisting. Join Combine. Life for you, you become Pieter. This is not propaganda. This is reality. We protect. We attack. And there is nothing holding us back.